I asked you a question. Okay, so today we're going to be taking some footage from on my webcam here and then turning it into a performance using uh, Act 2 in Runway. Let's get started. Now we're in Runway Act 2. I've created some images in Mid Journey. I created a bot that knows some cinematography principles and I just fed it some really simple script that I made. I'm taking those shots and then I'm breaking them up into how the shots are supposed to look. These are some of the shots that I got from those prompts for like this bar scene conversation, a rooftop situation, and then trying to get like an interrogation room. First, we need to grab our performance. So I'm going to take actor A. So it's going to detect the face. And then I'm going to choose the character. So only the first 30 seconds is going to be used. That's okay because it's like only 30 seconds. Now I'm going to drop in my images. And I think I'm going to get started with this shot. So the rooftop scene. And I'm going to crop the camera the way it wants it. I actually want to do a 21.9. Crop that. Okay. And then we will just hit generate. There is some settings here. Uh, I'm just going to leave them a default for now. Then we just hit generate. So now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to run the other video with the same character. Because I haven't actually decided who is who yet. I'm going to go to actor B. And I'm just going to run the exact same character with this performance. So I've got two different performances. One is me saying the, the words the first time, playing one of the characters, and then the second one playing the other character. And then we're going to move on to the next shot. I think I'll do this one. Now we're definitely going to have to change her voice with 11 labs, and we'll have to do some work with the colors to match as well. Okay, so we have to wait. You can only run two at a time. So we'll just wait for that. And then I'm going to go in here and grab these other ones I didn't have. I'll go back to runway and see where they're at. Oh, his neck is like completely broken. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. Okay, so the main issue you can see here is that our starting position of this character is looking like this. So what happened was I'm standing straight up. So it's like moving his neck in an unnatural way. So I actually either need to find a shot that is uh, positioned much more like I'm positioned. So instead of re-recording -re everything, I think I probably will do that. I'm going to load up my custom tool here. I'm still not finished with this. I'm still working on it. So I think I'll eventually release this in some way. Um, but this is my little context setup that I have directly in Photoshop. So I'm just going to go in here and we'll go to our download. First, I'm going to do, I need to get this so that it's in um, the correct resolution. It needs to be 1392 by 752. So this is the 16.9 that context allows. So make the man standing straight up looking towards the camera. So I'm going to do a transform. So it's affecting the image that it currently is there. Okay. So now we've got this shot. This is more what we need. So what we can do is we can actually take, I actually like kind of like this one's a little bit off center. So I like this one, but I like the framing of this one. So I am going to let's do a selection here. Say, make it red. Let's see, I'm going to just do one of this one. Remove the person that is inside of the red box. So we can just get a quick clean plate, as I like contexts, clean plate better than the one that's in. <laughs> that's funny. You removed the man, but didn't remove his clothing. So we need to be more specific. Remove the person and his clothing invisible man so hopefully this gives us a clean plate okay so it really removed everybody this time so but we can use this so i'm going to mask so i'm going to paint out this part let me fix my brush here okay and then i'm going to make this a bit softer turn on dynamics you know i actually liked some of this so I'm going to mask this out too and bring back some of that railing. Then I'm going to bring in this shot and we're just going to do a selection on this and kind of copy into the shot like that. So now we've got this comp of them both together and now he is uh, facing straight on so that we can get a better performance out of it. So I'm going to save this. So let's do redo that shot. So I'm going to upload. So that was our old one. This is our new one. So it's more straight on situation. Man, that makes my neck hurt. I will say the acting is pretty good though. I mean, that's a pretty good transfer. 
Uh, and then I, I'm just going to run the second video as well. Get this one. There we go. And generate. So now we've got two queued up, shot A performance and shot B performance on the St. Mac. So now let's go and look at the woman, which actually this one, I think will work. This, this does look like it's plausible that this is her here. So we're actually going to do that. This shot, and I'm going to rename this. Let's see, rooftop actor A version two. Okay, I'm going to crop that in. And we got to wait for these others two to finish. So now we've got this here. So I've got both those two clips. I'm going to download them and we can actually look at them when we're actually in the editing software. I'm going to run the same thing with the, the same acting for the, the woman as well. So I'm going to generate, got that one going and I'm going to grab the other version. I want to use B. All right. And then generate. Okay. So now we've got both those two running. I went over into 11 labs and I actually, the acting that I did from the previous one. So I've got both actors there. So now I'm going to get the second clip was the B and then record the same actors with this. So we got that. So I'm going to regenerate with Arabella and Bradford. So I'm going to run hers. So we'll do generate with Arabella and then I'm going to generate one with Bradford. Cool. So we're going to download that one. And then I'm going to run it again with Bradford because I haven't really decided who's going to be who yet. We could probably actually do one where their roles are reversed too, uh, which would be interesting. So I'm going to go back over into runway, see where we're at. So while that's going, I'm actually going to start pulling in my clips. So you can see here is actually where I recorded them. I'm going to download what I've got so far, which is... All right, so we've got two clips of Bradford. So before I cut these up completely, I'm going to let them be at their full clip. So I'm going to turn off the audio of me, which is this one. And I'm going to link these clips together so that they move together. Just scale this up. It's not 1080p. That's okay. Seems like the audio may be off a little bit. I think it's because my footage might have been 30 FPS. I feel like one of the things that I learned about doing this is if I want the character to be looking exactly where, what their eye line was when they started, you need to look at the camera. So, cause I, I keep looking slightly off screen instead of at the person. <laughs> I make eye contact there for a second. And now let's pull in the other Bradford clip. I think it's this one. So now we've got both clips at the same spot. Scale this up. And I will go over to this one and let's take a look at what we got. You gave me a sentence. Definitely not perfect, but let's download it. Let's look at this one. And I gave you an answer. Okay. I'm just going to download that one too. Okay. So we got A and we got B. We're going to go back over here. I'm going to look off screen, grab these, bring them in. And then we're going to figure out which one is which. So here's my original clips of me doing a blah, blah, blah. And now I'm just going to go in like cut back and forth. Okay. So now one thing that's missing is we got to add in some atmosphere here. So I'm going to go to epidemic sound and we need some cold wind. Okay. Try some of these. Also like this one. So I'm going to get this one too. We probably need some city ambience. Yeah, that sounds good. Get some of that. And then we need some dramatic music here. Mysterious. Let's try some of that. This is not an exact science, but let's take it. Let's throw those in there. And to not make this into a huge After Effects tutorial, more about Runway, here is the final clips. I asked you a question. If I gave you an answer. You gave me a sentence. A sentence is an answer. Not when it avoids the truth. If you wanted the truth, you would have asked better questions. I asked you a question. 
if I gave you an answer. It gave me a sentence. A sentence is an answer. Not when it avoids the truth. If you wanted the truth, you would have asked better questions. All right, that's it for today. And if you like this video, please hit a like and comment down below on what you liked about it and what you'd like to learn next. Until next time, keep creating, keep experimenting, and I'll see you in the next one.